Hi, Steve from Steve M Outdoors here. And today I wanted to make a quick and li a dirty little video uh, about something that's been bothering me for quite a while, particularly in the last couple of months. And it's the use of the term assault rifle. So you hear the term all the time these days, typically when politicians and anti-gunners are talking about you know, bringing in new restrictions. Up here in Canada, the Liberal government has introduced well, a couple months ago, a new bill, B Bill C-71, which will further ratchet down the restrictions on firearm owners. Uh, but they also use it in terms of specific uh, guns, such as AR-15s or even semi-automatics in general. You know, thanks to a superficial resemblance to the original M-16 uh, and today's M4 carbines, the AR-15 and other semi-automatic rifles you know, get tagged with that name, Assault Rifle, all the time. Uh, even Merriam-Webster has gotten into the game recently uh, when it decided to change the definition of Assault Rifle to include semi-automatic rifles, as you can see here by the graphic. So if you're someone that doesn't know the difference between a semi-automatic rifle and an Assault Rifle, uh, here's a very simple and all-encompassing definition of the term. An assault rifle is defined as following the have, having the following characteristics. There's three of them. Uh, one, it fires an intermediate round. Uh, that includes 5.56 by, by 45 millimeter, which you find in AR-15s, 762 by 39 millimeter, the AK pattern rifles, 545 by 39, the newer AK rifles. Um, and uh, intermediate in ammunition is distinguished compared to full power rounds like 30 odd six, 308, uh, 303 British, eight millimeter Mauser. Um, they tend to be smaller compared to the full power rounds. Number two is, and this is probably the most important one, uh, it's a select fire rifle. Uh, that is to say, if you press the trigger, bullets keep flying out of the uh, barrel. That's it. That's fully automatic. Semi-automatic is you press the trigger once, one bullet flies out of the barrel. Uh, that's kind of important. And third, less important but necessary for a uh, usable uh, assault rifle, is that it's magazine fed because you need the capacity in order to keep firing those rounds obviously. So that means an AR-15, which when you press the trigger, one bullet flies out, is a semi-automatic rifle. While this M16 is an assault rifle. It's not the same. Uh, this means that this SKS-45 semi-automatic rifle is not an assault rifle, while this AK-47 is an assault rifle. It's not the same. This is an assault rifle. It's the FAMAS. This is not an assault rifle. Looks do not equal functionality. Just because your Grand Prix, Pontiac Grand Prix looks like a sports car, it's not a sports car. An AR-15 may look like an M16, but it's not an assault rifle. Words mean things. Um, although Adolf Hitler is generally credited with coining the term assault rifle uh, to des describe the Sturmgewehr 44, uh, it generally became a technical term after World War II to describe rifles that shared the characteristics that that rifle had, which was intermediate cartridge, fully automatic, magazine fed. Let's be honest here though, um, the use of the term assault rifle, which you barely heard before the 1990s unless you were a historian or military, uh, is born out of both an ignorance of firearms and an attempt to use the language to demonize those firearms and gun owners in general. Uh, most people see an AR-15 and they think M16. That's the ignorance. Politicians, some, many, police, and anti-gunners who use it to describe semi-automatic rifles uh, are just trying to use public ignorance in order to turn these rifles into something they're not and to advance their agenda. Uh, you know, either to have them further restricted or banned outright. Look, believe what you will when it comes to the legality 
of certain types of firearms. That's your God-given right, and I wouldn't take that away from you. Uh, but if you have any respect for the truth, you should be using the proper terminology when describing them. Uh, that's probably too much to ask, though, I guess. Um, some more honest or dishonest, uh, depending on how you look at it, journalists and anti-gun activists has begun using a new term uh, to describe AR-15s because they know assault rifles now, a term which is in debate. They use the term assault weapon, and that's a topic for another day. I'm not going to get into that. At any rate, that's it for me. Uh, just use the term assault rifle properly, please. Uh, if you found this video interesting or vaguely informative, you know, please feel free to like, comment, share it, whatever you'd like. Subscribe to the channel. Join the massive 32 people who have already subscribed to SM Outdoors. Uh, and below, you're going to find links to both my Twitter and my Facebook pages. As always, happy shooting, safe shooting.